Clipping masks. In the past we've talked about them. Some of you have used the word crop and that is, I guess, appropriate. And I want to unpack what clipping masks actually mean. In the past, say if we have had a, let's say if I bring in a bottle, well, in order for me to cut this out in the industry wall, we call that clipping it out. So we would actually go in with the pen tool and painstakingly clip around our image until it is perfectly clipped out or until we've got the contour of our object and so I'm just going to go real rough at the moment not really paying attention to how things are supposed to go but just to show you the difference between cropping an image cropping simply means to cut in on an area but typically going in from the left, right, top and bottom, but clipping an image actually means to cut it out. And when we're using a clipping mask, the object that we actually create, so this object that I'm creating right now, that is called our mask, and what we're doing with it is clipping our object out with the mask that we have just created. So I'm not going to actually finish the rest of this, I'm just going to cut it to here, and down there makes it easier to clip out objects when you have a tablet. I'm using a Wacom tablet, Intuos Pro. This is my mouse of choice. So we select both our images, right click, make clipping mask, and we have successfully clipped that out. And if I create something behind it, you can see that I've cut it out. Wherever I move it, it has actually been cut out. So that is clipping masks. Now, clipping masks don't have to only work with images that we bring in. You've seen when I scrolled out, given it's Easter time, I want to do a bit of an Easter egg kind of pattern. And what I have done, if I release the mask, is created some sort of chevron pattern and all I've done there is drawn over the top of it using the ellipse tool. I'm going to give that a different color so I can see what's going on. Now with an egg it's elongated so let's just stretch it up, stretch it down. I'll pull it in at the top and out down the bottom and I'm just going to stretch it out at the bottom just give it a little bit of a shape. Select both of them, right click, make clipping masks. So that is clipping masks and how you use it.